Hello everyone, welcome to the Fox Tech YouTube channel. This time we talk about merging stuff on your iPhone. What does that actually mean? What does that refer to? What does merge mean on an iPhone? And you may be asked about it sometimes uh, alongside your iPhone. Whatever you're doing, you may be notified about merging something. Now, it's up to you to know what's really happening, but merge basically in the context of iPhones typically refers to combining or bringing together two or more pieces of data or information into a unified single entity. Specifically related to an iPhone, uh, there are some things which you may have noticed. For example, there is merging contacts. If you have multiple contacts on your iPhone, which are duplicates, uh, you can actually merge them together into one so you don't have duplicates on your iPhone cluttering up your space in the contacts app. I made a specific video just about that, so you can check it out on the Fox Tag if you have this problem. By the way, guys, if you want to know everything about your iPhone apps, you have to click the link down below in the description. It's a 100% free education platform where I publish like video editing courses. There is going to be the All Apps Explained course, which is coming up. It's going to explain every single app on your iPhone. It's going to be really cool. So go ahead and check out that link. It's free to access. So yeah, go ahead and do that right now. Or, for example, when I talked about Safari and the settings, well, if you go to the iCloud section, go to the All Apps, for example, let's say I delete or turn off Safari, you can see that I can just delete my Safari stuff from here, and when I re-enable it, you can see that it's actually going to ask me if I want to merge it together, or let's say with stocks, it asks me if I want to merge other data from other devices together. So in the context of iCloud, you have multiple different apps. So I have multiple different devices with the stock app. And if I want to unify everything, I have to merge all the data from all of the iPhones and all the devices in my network. In terms of the stocks, I can merge everything together. So I have it unified inside of my stocks app. So that's one example. The next thing would be merging PDFs. I made a specific video just about that. In case you have multiple PDFs on your iPhone and you want to merge them into one, you want to put them together. I'm showing you how you can do that. I don't want to go through everything inside of this video because there are so many instances of merging stuff on iPhone. So I just want to explain the concept and perhaps link you to other useful information. Or for example, I just finished a video about merging photos together, for example, using the layout app. So I showed you how you can merge, for example, four pieces of photo into one, into one photo. So you can actually resize it, do it as much as you like. So yeah, it's up to you to decide how much you want to merge the photos or what does that actually mean. But in the general, it's basically putting, in this case, four photos together into one, so merging them all together. So that's how it works. And also the term merge is used to describe the process of bringing together information or content to make it more manageable, organized, or useful. So you're basically streamlining and unifying the data, which may be duplicate or scatter across different sources. So you have four photos which are scattered across the Photos app. You can put them together into one picture so you can see it at one time. So that's something to, to pay attention to or to know about. Anyways, that's going to be about it. I hope I have helped you out with this problem. I hope that I have shown you some things which may be useful for you. Thank you very much for watching. I really do think that you should find it valuable. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up, but definitely subscribe to the Fox Tech YouTube channel down below. Thanks a lot for watching. See you guys later.